Hey, the old world's here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, we've already talked to Penny, who says that there might have been somebody on the set who wasn't supposed to be there. Oh, that's right, we need to go talk to the security lady um, to see if she saw anyone on the premises that wasn't supposed to be there. Um. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost! Uh huh. Anyway, we need to talk to you. Um, assistance claim. Fine, I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30? Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be! But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from the outside here that day. What? Are you actually sure you were here watching the whole time? Oh, she wasn't. Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? <laughs> Alright, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired creep. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her, she's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are just like that nowadays. Oh god, she's going on a fun rant again. Uh, she left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. We need to look at the computer, because we need to know the timestamp of that photo that was taken. The computer that runs the, su the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yes, why is this even a question? Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick. Looks like I just have to enter a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. 1 p.m. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Oh god, what was it? Um. Was it this? I completely forget. There, enter. Nothing happened. Huh? Maybe I got the number wrong. <sighs> we should go look at that camera again. STI-307. Okay. Yeah, I already read this already. 307. There. Enter. Hey, they printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Um. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. Who's that? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Ooh, so somebody might have deleted a photo. Powers photo added to the court record, but notice that the timestamp was at two, which was thirty minutes before um before the victim was killed. Hmm. Hey, hey, Nick! Can't we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah, we'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Well, we should, yeah, because, um, remember, she says she did, she doesn't check the timestamps on the photo, she just prints them out and looks at them. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Yeah, especially her. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you can be the next evil magistrate, please. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? You laughed, it was just a joke. So are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. 
it still would be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady? No, it's not the security lady. Why would it be the security lady? Sure, she seemed like more of a Will Powers fan than of the person who played Evil Magistrate, but I don't think she killed anyone. I'm trying to figure out who it was. I don't think we've met everyone for this arc yet. Because in case you forget, you do get three days for the trial. So we're probably going to use all three. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Hello, Edgeworth again. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Okay, let's see what the detective has to say today. Detective, if you would briefly describe the case to the court. Yes, sir. I will. I'll explain it with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to graph the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. That's the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that are the studios. Here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m., production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found on... I don't... I can't do gum shoes, voice, whatever voice it was I had with. I keep changing it. <laughs> the samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? I, I don't know why he's gone southern. Oh, God. Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? Um, no, I think, I think I'm good. I think I can probably remember that. So, the murder weapon was a spear. Hmm, how medieval. Samurai Spear added to the court record. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm? Oh. Oh. My, are you a handsome fellow? <laughs> She's falling for Edgeworth. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Your name, please. Edgeworth is not like that. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Oh, God. Yeah, what? Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. <laughs> that does seem to be a theme, doesn't it? Windy old bat, dearie. So just come, Grandma. Oh god, she's going off on a tangent again. Oh my god, we don't care when you uh, Objection. I object to the witnesses talking in this. Objection sustained. The 
the witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dear me. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. Do you know your stuff, dear me? Don't call the judge, dear me. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. <laughs> Witnesses account. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since the morning. Well, I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 p.m. when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30, right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was headed towards the studio. You saw the defendant, then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Let me get this straight, old bad, er, miss, old bad. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just, just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Yeah, it kind of doesn't look anything like him, which is weird. I don't know. What is this exactly? None other than the steel samurai defender of Neo Tokyo. Miss Old Bad. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Um, yeah. Um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I know that! I wasn't born yesterday! No one in this court is accusing you of that miss- er, witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hm, you nosy old man. Of course I have proof! Huh? What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised? The prosecution would like to ask the old, the witness, please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. Oh, that means that she withheld information from him. <laughs> How is I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't give it a second look. Oh, that's why we only found photo number two. Gumshoe has photo number one. Wow, old Windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. Okay. The man in the photo. I never say anything I don't mean, my dear. That morning, during the run through of the action scene, I saw Power strip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Oh. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. Uh, it kind of just looks like he's walking, but maybe? That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Oh, yeah, he is. Well, he, I don't think. If he had a sprained ankle, how is he able to walk at all? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm, so he had a sprain, so he had sprained his ankle. Why didn't he tell us that? Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Okay, so press whatever I feel is suspicious. Um, Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. 
thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. I think we've heard enough. What? Haven't we, Your Honor? Why are you rushing to finish us? Well, there's one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where is the Steel Samurai costume now? That's actually a good point. Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. We haven't seen the photo that Gumshoe has yet, so um, I wouldn't say that. Hmm. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Object. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, so we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Um, it's never good when he does that. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Witness's account continued. Okay. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 true. The only person I saw go by at the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. But it's a costume, right? With like makeup and all that and everything. Wouldn't somebody be able to disguise himself as the Steel Samurai? I, I don't know. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio... Then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross examine the witness. Okay, what do I need to do now? But do we have to present this here? I have no idea. Okay, that's right. Okay, cool. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. The photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, you, Sunny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer and the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you want to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really, sorry. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it was really the only photo? Order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I wanted to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one but two people went to the studio that day. Yet, there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. What? Um, I don't think she did, but... No, I don't think she did that. Do you watch your mouth, Luke Samurai? The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, <laughs> I, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, if you boy, help! Hmm? Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hmm. Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper, too. Uh, whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag. Ah, that's right. I, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate? Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. 
What do you mean by that? Uh, I see. Your testimony, please. Even the judge is getting upset over how people spontaneously remember stuff. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking to see. Why do you do that? Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. That sounds fishy. Also, uh, you're a terrible security guard for doing that. Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> what was that photo? Well, who was in the photo that you erased? Hmm, a fanboy. A fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. You let... You let an outsider onto the set? Or did they arrive before you got there? They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Wait a second. Didn't you say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so that no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Uh, and you just leave that? The grease has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, that's where they come in. Gotta be kidding me. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And... They're kids, children, whippersnappers. Uh, that's why the photo looks weird and it looks like he's dragging his legs. It's a couple of kids stacked on top of each other. Why do I get the feeling that they were trying to emulate being the Steel Samurai and stabbed Jack Hammer by accident? If that's the case, this is really stupid. Kids? So, on the photo that you erased, it was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? How is that not suspicious at all? What? Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was a steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be about the second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. Yeah, being security guard biz, I feel you on that because we're not allowed to apprehend people. A boy in the second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I, I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there? That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. I'd like to take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. October 18th, 11.08 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Mr. Willpowers? Yes? Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? It was the kid. Because, it's yeah, they mentioned that it's heavy. Which means that they probably couldn't wield it properly, and they tried to play fight Jack Hammers and ended up stabbing him with the spear. I think. I mean, that's my suspicion right now, anyway. How <laughs> should I know? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. You don't lock your dress your dressing room. 
costume or something. I couldn't imagine anyone wanting to steal a, sam steal a samurai costume. So, where does this lead me? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, what are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take you so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. Huh. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, would you present the prosecution's thoughts on the matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went into the studio was the boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there's still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Okay, here we go. We have to pick. Order. Interesting. Let's hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough already. So, who is this person other than Will Powers who could have committed the murder? Scary lady, the great school boy. What about the assistant girl? Um, I mean, they, they already ruled out the great school boy and the security lady. The assistant girl is the only one we haven't talked about. It's the assistant. The Steel Samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it and in doing so became the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, you're not. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh, uh oh. Bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Will Power's injury. Will Powers and poor Hammer were at the raptor. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning up the backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Oh, right. But... But... I mean... Yeah, she didn't know about his ankle, but I mean... Oh boy, I chose wrong, didn't I? Okay, cool. Well, doesn't... Right. Okay. That kind of takes the legs out from under that case. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I warned. Oh, ow, that hurts. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. We move on, Mr. Wright. Uh, this fight isn't over yet. If you would, Your Honor, one more chance, please. Very well, go ahead. But who is this person other than Mr. Powers who could have committed the murder? Well, if it couldn't have been the assistant and already ruled out the grade school boy, the security lady still? Somehow? For some reason? It was the security lady, Wendy Oldman. Who? The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. Oh, okay, I see her watching now. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. This is the security lady, Old Bag. Oh, what? Whisper Snapper? Order, order. It, is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai costume. And slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. 
she knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Ryan. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes number two, baby. Mm -hmm. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? Oh, what? What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I do, is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way? Press for it. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? Forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now, Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Oh, wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy, the one whose photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said, second or third grade, is it? That doesn't matter. When I was at it, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops. Hm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Or is it or is it being nice to the kids and mean to your elders day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Proof? Indeed? Then let us see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? I, I do. Um, key card for the study period. Oh, right, if you don't have this key card, you can't get into the studio. Is this it? The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a key card to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a key card? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag is speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy... What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. I like how they can't remember her name. Wait a second! I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me! I'm talking. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, you must know there's something I was told not to talk about. Uh, not to talk about again? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edwards who told her not to talk? I'm surprised too. Well, testify. And we'll see where this testimony is going in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, give this video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon. And check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you aren't subscribed or you subscribe right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rolls signing off. Talk to you later.